This is gonna be a reading for my Libras. Welcome back to my channel. Let's take a look at what June 2023 has in store for you. We're going to look at career, finances, advice, what you don't see, all that stuff. So if you wanna see future readings, subscribe, hit that notification bell. I will have listed below my website, mysticalcrystals.com. If you don't know how to spell it, like I said, just check below. And all my other links will be listed below as well as far as my Patreon and all of that. But let's get into it. What does the month of June 2023 have in store for my Libras? So, personal theme, we have the Knight of Flowers. The energy around love and romance, we have the Ace of Flowers. Career and finance, we have the Seven of Pentacles, or the Seven of Hedgehogs possible challenge we have the king of teacups the advice for you we have the ten of swords what needs more of your focus we have the ten of cups okay what you may not be seeing in the month of june i have suspension and the outcome, we have the Queen of Wands. All right, Libras, let's get into it. So the first card representing the personal theme with the Knight of Flowers. Tunnel vision, you having the sense of extreme focus. What I will say though, with the Knight of Swords, um, the Knight is a flaky energy in the sense where the Knight could be, you know, I'm gonna take charge, I'm gonna rush forward, but in this energy, there's a need for you to not just kind of like be so focused on completing some sort of goal or making something happen that you miss important mistakes that are made in the process or things that may be important along what you're trying to do. So you could be very determined to make something happen, whether this is get a new job, fix your relationship, um, get a new car, whatever this is, you guys have a plan in mind, you have an idea of what you're trying to accomplish, you guys are going to be charging ahead. Also, when it comes to communication with others during this time frame, it could be very sporadic. You could have moments where someone is applying a lot of pressure towards, you know, pursuing you and, and entertaining you, and then they may lack consistency in how they show up. So anybody who is being inconsistent, just kind of have your, what's the word? Your antennas up in regards to that. Now, what I see for love and romance, let's talk about that. We have the five of swords, actually not the ace of swords. Now that I see it, because there's five flowers here, I always get so confused with this card. So when it comes to love and romance, there could be arguments rooted in you and your person just needing to see each other's side. Stay away from the desire or the need to be right, okay? Because that doesn't do anything for any relationship that you value and want to keep in your life. All it does is just prove that you're right. Okay, cool. So during um, the month of, of June, Libras, there could be just some really bad arguments between you and your person or this lack of you guys seeing eye to eye. You could even be in a relationship where you don't want to be, or not even a relationship for some of you, this is more so dealing with someone. Um, you could be dealing with someone where it's like they make you feel like maybe they're playing a game or that you have to protect yourself just in case. So any situation where you have to kind of side-eye the person that you're dealing with or question if they even have genuine intentions for you, that, that's something to look at. Some of you guys could also be psyching yourself out of dealing with someone, talking to someone, or they're doing it to themselves, okay? I'm seeing this for my, my singles. You could be... Believe in a narrative that your love life is doomed or something or that you're going to keep experiencing the same issues in your love life. So you could be scared to connect with others. And this month is going to challenge you to come out of that.
Now, what I see here for career and finance, I have the seven of pinnacles. So you're going to go into a state of looking at everything that you've pretty much accomplished up until this point and what it has gotten you. And in this month, you could be trying to be very patient when it comes to the results that you're, you're looking to receive, especially when it comes to a job that you've been at, a business, okay? Hmm. Yeah, for a lot of you, especially my business owners watching this, you're in a space of waiting for your big breakthrough. But during the month of June, instead of like waiting for this big breakthrough to just come, being consistent in your efforts is the only thing that you can necessarily do and be in the flow of patience at that. Now, going into the possible challenge with the King of Teacups, this could be a Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio, or just intense emotions that you could feel. You could have really intense emotions that are hard to ignore, okay? Keeping your cool emotionally could also be a challenge as well. Hmm. You could also have other people, if it's not you, who are really emotional during this time frame. And you may not know how to handle that or deal with that. Now, advice with the Ten of Swords. This is making sure you're not feeding into defeatist beliefs or these limiting beliefs or these beliefs of you, I don't know, not being enough. Okay, know that the worst is over. So what needs to happen this month is you guys picking yourself back up and not feeding into these depressive thoughts or these thoughts of you not being able to do things and, and almost going into self-sabotage by believing certain things that are just not true. Also, when it comes to betrayal, this is being careful of who you give the chance to betray you over and over and over and over again. People can only do things to you if you give them the chance to do it. Now, what I have here for what needs your focus, I do have the 10 of cups. So family may be needing your focus, your sense of happiness, what makes you truly happy needs your focus. But mainly family and your sense of contentment. Where have you been denying yourself of truly being happy, truly being content, and also gratitude? For some reason, this Ten of Cups to me feels like you guys need to step into a space of gratitude throughout the month of June. Now, what you may not be aware of, I do have the suspension card here or the hangman. Um, so what you may not be aware of, anything that's being put on pause or that could be experiencing delays, there's certain things that Spirit was trying to get you to see in reflection while these uh, things may have been on pause. Or excuse me, let me rephrase that because I don't know if I rephrase, uh, phrase that the right way. With the hangman being here, there were certain delays or pauses in in... in in, in movement with a connection, with a business, with you getting a new job, whatever this may be, so that you can kind of see your own self and get time to reflect and make sense of things. And in the month of June, any delays that still could be present is more so present to get you to see yourself in actions that you may need to take differently or a different approach that you may need to adopt. Hopefully you guys get what I mean by that. I feel like I've said that in a very jumbled way. <laughs> but as far as the outcome is concerned, with the Queen of Spears, I see an Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo that could be of significance. But if not a fire sign outside of you, you could step into this Queen of Spears energy where you are about your business, you're very charismatic, you are in this take charge attitude, focused on your desires, focused on your passions, being very straightforward. You may find yourself having to have very tough conversations by the end of this month where you have to assert yourself or stand on what you believe.
But yeah, this is pretty much what I'm seeing. I hope that this reading was helpful and did give you some insight on what to expect. If you did enjoy, definitely thumbs up the video and subscribe so that you never miss a beat. And I will see my Libras in the next one.